of our coffee still Got that feeling on board Running through our veins It's our feet dancing when we hear that fiddle play We love to hear that Cajun music Down at the Sando door Dancing with our sweethearts And just letting the good times roll We know it's God first and then our This is the trick, guys. We use this molasses. That sweet smell, it brings them in from far away. We're gonna mix it with the corn. Man, that smells good. Put that on some pet cakes. <laughs> <laughs> Those pigs can smell it a mile away. They come in. Zoom up on that. Look. That's some candy for him right there. All right, let's go set it up. We're going to check a pig trap right here. We'll be pulling up to it pretty soon. Hopefully, we got a few pigs. My boy PJ right here. What's up? Oh. <laughs> Stay on the road. Got some good eating pigs right here. This is the little 22 I used to kill the pigs. It's a little Ruger, 15 round clip. Let's get it done.
rod. We're coming up on another trap. We'll see if we have anything in this trap. Here's what I was working on. We got one left. We're gonna feed some hungry people. All right, guys, we're back at the house. All the pigs are quartered out. Today we're gonna debone all the pig meat. I'll show you guys how I season it, marinate it, put it up in the freezer. And I'll show you guys how we make a wild pig jambalaya. Y'all stay tuned for that. have the wild pork all deboned. We have roughly 60 pounds. There's 30 pounds in each container. We're gonna marinate it. We're gonna use cayenne red pepper, garlic, salt, paprika, black pepper, and a little vinegar. Okay, we're gonna start with the red pepper salt. We're gonna coat the top. Dealing with 30 pounds of meat, it takes a lot of seasoning and a lot of salt. Garlic. Black pepper. Just a little bit of vinegar. Okay. Now we're going to mix that up real good. All 
right, we got one done. It's all marinated. We'll freeze it like that. That'll provide quite a few meals, unless we do one huge jambalaya, which is possible. 60 pounds of marinated pork. I'm gonna leave one out that we're gonna cook and I'll show it in this video. I'll do a little jambalaya with it. The rest I'll freeze. That's a lot of pork, guys. And I gave most of it away. I think I kept, that might be four pigs, 80 pound, perfect size pigs. We trapped a whole bunch of pigs. We trapped a whole bunch and we gave a bunch away. Gave some of the customers. Uh, I don't like to waste the meat. Cleaned every single pig that I did catch. All right, guys, we're gonna do this wild pork jambalaya. Real simple. We'll throw this together. Y'all stay tuned. Okay, here's some ingredients for the jambalaya. Got the rice, bell peppers, onions, savoy smoked sausage. We'll use a little beef broth, cream of mushroom, a little bit of diced tomatoes, and there's our marinated wild pork. Start off, put a little oil in the pot, put our marinated pork. Got our smoked sausage, we'll brown this down real good. Looking good. I'm gonna take my meat out. So I can brown my onions and bell peppers. Some people, sometimes I'll put it straight in the meat. You could do it either way. Onions in. Bell peppers, the bell pepper, and three, three large onions. Some people may say this is cheating, but we're going to darken it up a little bit. back in. Very good. Okay, we're going to probably put half a can of this dice hunt tomatoes. Put this can of cream of mushroom. Good. Okay, right now I think I'm adding a little bit of beef broth to it. A few cups of that. Okay, we're gonna add some water. We're gonna just let this cook down, get real tender. We'll be adding the rice pretty soon. I'm trying to get the meat tender. Add the water and the rice. We're gonna put 12 cups of water. Four cups of water, we're going to bring it up to ball. we're going to add six cups of rice. Four cups. We're going to add two more cups. We're going to bring this up to ball. we're going to keep stirring it. 
Okay, the rice is starting to come up. Okay, it's sticking it up. In just a minute, we'll put it real low and let it simmer to finish cooking. All right, we got the moisture cooked out of it. I'm gonna put the top on and we'll let it Ten or fifteen minutes, it'll be ready to go. Are we there, Timmy? You can do it, huh? It was good. <laughs> 